Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw an amazing digital circus surprise fold. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our amazing digital circus surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to start by lining up the corners of my paper and giving it a nice fold right down the middle. Then I'm going to line up the corners one more time, giving it another nice fold. Now when I open this up, I have these nice little guidelines that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. And I always like to turn my paper this way so I can open it up for a nice surprise. Now to start off with this, let's begin by drawing Kane. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to start by making a line that's going to curve up and then down for one of his teeth. Then right here, I'm going to make another line that's going to come up and down. And then one more, it's going to come up and then down. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and down. We'll go up and down. And then one more time, up and down, right here. Now right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve in. Then I'll make a line that comes up. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down and in with another little curve line. Now, let's work on his hat. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up. We're going to curve down and then go back up. Then right here, I'm going to do that same thing. Just going to curve this around and back to here. Then I'll make a line that goes up. I'm going to come down and then right to here. Starting here, I'm going to come up. I'm going to go over and then down for the hat. Then let's draw a little line across here. Now starting here, let's go ahead and make the bottom. Right here, let's draw a line that's going to come down and then up. We'll do another one here. We're just going to go down and up. And then right here, same thing, down and up. We'll continue that over here. We'll just do those same shapes on each side, lining up with those top teeth. Right here, we'll draw a line that comes out and in. We'll draw a line down. I'll curve this up and then in. Now, let's make Kane's body. Let's start here. We're just going to make a line that's going to come down at an angle and then straight down. And then over here, we'll come over and then down. Right here, I'm going to draw a little bow tie. Then I'll make a line that's going to come out, down, and in. And same thing here. We go out at an angle, straight down, and then back in. Then I like to add a little line inside of the bow tie. Right here we'll draw two lines that come down. And then we'll just kind of bring these in, they kind of angle in a little bit. Then I'm going to make a couple little dots right here for buttons. Now I'm going to draw a line that goes in or out and then back in, then out and in again. We'll do that same thing here. We go out and then in, out and then in. I'm going to draw those same lines right inside of here for the little detail on the flaps of his shirt. Now right here, I'm going to make a line that comes down and then straight down for an arm. And then same thing here, down and then straight down. 
Right here, I'm going to draw two lines that come down for his other arm. And then I want to make it look like he's holding his cane. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve down and come up for a thumb. I'll make an oval shape here for a finger. One here, and then one more right there. Then I'll draw a line that goes down, over, and then up for his hand. I'll curve this around, and then make a diagonal line down. I'm going to draw a line that goes up. It's going to curve and then come over. We'll make a little curve shape here. And then a circle shape right here. And we'll make a line that comes down here. Now, once we have Kane all drawn, we're going to open this up and draw the inside. Now, once we have this opened up, we have two halves of Kane. So let's finish him off first. First thing we're going to do is I'll start with this tooth, and we're going to go down. I'm going to bring it over and then up. Then I'm going to keep doing this. We'll go down and over and then down and over to finish off those teeth. Then we'll just go over and up, over and up, and then over and up for the teeth. We'll do the same thing here. I'll start with this middle one. We'll just come up, over, and down. Go up and over, and then up and over. Same thing here. Up and over, and we'll just continue that right to here. Now, once we finished with him, we want to make the eyes. So first thing is I'm going to draw a nice big circle shape right here for one of the eyes. And then I'm going to make a smaller circle shape right here. I'm going to draw a circle inside of here and then another circle inside of here. Then I'll make a bigger circle for a little reflection. And then I'll just color this one in for the pupil. So we'll just color right around here and make the pupil. Now, inside of here, I want to make a couple characters. So the first character I want to make is going to be Pomni. So to start off with Pomni, I'm going to start right here, and I'll draw a line that's just going to curve up and down here. And then I'll just curve it around here to connect it. I'll begin by making two big circles in here for eyes. Keep them kind of close together. I'll draw a line across here. And then two circles inside of here for the pupils. I'll draw a little sad face with a little line across. Then I'll put a little oval shape underneath each eye. I'll make a line that comes down, over, and up for the neck. Then I'll do a curve on each side with a little diagonal line on each side. Then we'll do a curve on each side for the body. And then a big circle on each side for the shoulders. Now I'm going to draw a little line that goes down and over for the eyebrows. And then two rectangle shapes inside of here for the hair. For the outside of her hair, we're just going to go down, over, and up. And then same thing here, we're just going to go down, over, and up. We'll make a little line that curves around. Then I'm going to draw a line that comes straight up. Now for her hat, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out, down, and then back up. And then same thing here. I'm just going to go out, down, and then back up. Then I'm going to put two circles on each end. 
I'm going to make a curve here and a curve here. Same thing, curve here and a curve here. Now over here, let's draw a gangle. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's going to come down and up, kind of like a smiley face shape. Then we'll draw a curve across the top. I'll draw a small smiley face and then a tall smiley face. I'll draw two small sad faces and then two big sad faces for the eyes. Now for the body, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down. It's going to curve around and come to here. Then I'll do that same thing. I'll go down, curve around, and come to here. Then this one I'm just going to go down here. And then I'll curve this one down here. Then I'm going to make a wavy line like this with two little points and I'll bring it back. Next, over here I want to draw jacks. So I'm going to begin by making a circle shape for his head. Then I'm going to make a big smiley face shape in here with a line across for the mouth and a few lines in here for the teeth. Next, I'm going to make two straight lines across and two big sad faces like this. Then I'll make a line in the middle of each one and then just kind of color in the inside. Make a long curved line for an ear and then a long curved line for an ear. I'm going to make two lines down here. Then a line that's going to come out and down here. And a line that's going to come out and down here. Starting here at the top, we'll draw a long line down. Same thing here. And then right here, I'm going to go down, over, and then up. I'm going to put a circle on each side. And then a square shape right here for the pocket. And there you go. There is your drawing of an amazing digital circus surprise fold. When we have it all folded up, we have Kane right there. And then when we open it, his mouth is wide open and you see some of the different characters popping out of there. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.